Hey folks, Katie from Bootstrap Farmer here. Today we're going to talk about a vital component of successful hoop house growing, and that is ventilation. We're going to discuss what it is, how it works, and why it is so important. Let's get to it. Farmers use high tunnels to leverage the greenhouse effect to jumpstart and prolong the growing season. It's essential to balance the internal heat with cooling strategies to avoid plant stress. This includes providing adequate shade, ensuring proper irrigation, and maintaining optimal ventilation. Today, our focus will be on the crucial aspect of ventilation, a key component in providing a healthy and fruitful harvest. Proper ventilation helps regulate temperature, manages humidity, and ensures a continuous flow of fresh air, creating the perfect environment for your plants to thrive. When we say thrive, we mean less pest and disease pressure, proper plant respiration, and plants that are free from heat buildup. When your crops become stressed from heat, they are at risk of cellular damage, lower pollen production, and flower dropping. This is because photosynthesis rapidly decreases above 94 degrees Fahrenheit. The ideal temperature for a hoop house is around 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and around 60 to 70 degrees at night during the summer months. Ventilation will help you stay within these ideal temperatures, even during the peak of summer. Depending on crops, anytime your greenhouse is exceeding these recommendations, you'll need to vent it. Let's talk about how ventilation works and how to optimize it best for your needs. There are two types of ventilation in your hoop house, active and passive. Active ventilation systems use fans and other equipment to actively circulate air through the greenhouse. This method offers more precise control over airflow, temperature, and humidity by way of exhaust fans, circulation fans, and air exchange systems. Active or mechanical ventilation options include three main components. Exhaust fans are powerful fans that pull stale air out of the greenhouse, creating negative pressure that draws fresh air in through the vents and the openings. Circulation fans, also known as horizontal airflow fans, are devices that move air within the greenhouse, promoting even temperature distribution and reducing humidity pockets. The last component, air exchange systems. This is when you have a system that has intake and exhaust fans working together to maintain constant airflow and balancing the growing environment. Active ventilation is great, especially when you can connect it to a thermostat, which will automatically turn the fans on once a set temperature threshold is reached. This allows you to create a hands-off control system and frees up your time to focus on other farm tasks. That said, it's worth noting that active ventilation requires you to have electricity at the greenhouse site. It can also be expensive to install and operate. Before installing an air exchange system like this, you will need to dial in your structure's fan needs. We generally recommend that your total fan capacity should be two times the floor area of your greenhouse. Multiply the structure's area by two to calculate your recommended fan capacity. At Bootstrap Farmer, we carry a 12 inch, 24 inch, and a 36 inch fan. When looking at these individual listings, find the CFM, which is the cubic feet per minute of air movement. Divide that number by the total CFM needs for your structure and determine the amount of fans you'll need from there. Also, remember that fans and vents go together. For every fan you install, you need an equal amount of vents. So if you're using two fans, you need to install two vents. The other component to optimal ventilation is passive, also known as natural ventilation. Passive ventilation relies on airflow through the vents, windows, doors, and this regulates the temperature and humidity. This method is energy efficient and cost effective as it doesn't require the use of fans or electrical equipment. Natural greenhouse ventilation can be achieved through roof vents, roll-up sidewalls, and with the opening of windows and doors. From our experience, a combination of both mechanical and natural ventilation works best. And remember, always monitor the internal conditions of your hoop house. If it's too hot or humid, ramp up your ventilation. Or again, wire in a thermostat and automate ventilation at certain degree thresholds. The right greenhouse ventilation system will depend on your specific growing requirements and environmental factors. Consider your greenhouse size and design, the climate in your area, your plants need, as well as your budget when you're deciding on what kind of ventilation to add to your hoop house structure. By understanding the importance of airflow, selecting the right ventilation method, and optimizing your system, you can create the ideal temperature for your crops. Keep in mind that regular monitoring and adjustments may be necessary to ensure ongoing success. 
And that's a wrap on our hoop house ventilation. Remember, proper ventilation is key to a thriving hoop house. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your fellow growers, and subscribe to our channel for more production and greenhouse tips.